welcome to Top Rope Rally this week, episode 88. 88, guys. 88, that is huge. That is huge. It's double 44. Double of 44. And 12 away from the big 100. One double zero zero. Triple digits. Fine. Boy, what will happen on triple digits? No what telling. What will happen for triple digits? You just never know. Well, let's get started with part one here. Ringside news. And we knew it was going to happen. It had to happen. Yes, it did. It needed to happen. Sting is going into the 2016 Hall of Fame. He is the that first wrestling. name in that, so hopefully that makes him the headliner. I believe so, because the Not other one will be Owen Hart and, you know, how that goes. Yeah, he can't be the headliner. Can't no, be the headliner. Usually no deceased person is the headliner. Um, because they want that feel-good moment of right. the person at the very end, the big name, going in there. And, I mean, I could see him being the headliner for sure because um, most of the time the first name announced is always usually the main name going in. Yes. And, of course, we'll have the, the Freebirds hopefully this year. That is my prediction. With all of them. I heard that Jimmy, Jimmy they, Garvin will be part of it. have all four of them. All yes. four of them, which is that thing, thing to me. He was a Freebird. He was. He wasn't the original three, but he was a Freebird. And they owned WCW. He was part of WCW. They oh. owned the AWA. They were in there. Yep. They owned WCCW. They were in there. I'm talking about Jimmy Garvin, though. Oh. But he was only in the WCW yes. version. WCW NWA, yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's when he went up with Michael P.S. Hayes. And mostly it was just them, too, with a bunch of lackeys. Interesting. Yeah. Also, Stan Hansen. Stan the Larry Hansen. I heard he may go that's in. That's a rumor, huh? I like that's that. I like that one. I like Free that. birds. And, uh, and, uh, I mean, you're in Texas, so why not Stan Hansen? Don't be the Undertaker. What about Could we see Al Perez? <laughs> that would be good, but I doubt he You like old Al Perez. He was like this in the WWE, so. That is true, but he was in WCCW, and, uh, I mean, that'll be on the level, uh, not on the level for you, but for yes. me, it'll be on the level of Coco Beware, so. <laughs> <laughs> Which is pretty sad. Well, they won't care. They He'll won't care. He'll be that low mid-card guy that goes in. Like, we like Gary Hart. So, hey, but Gary Hart, I know Gary Hart go in. Well, if Owen's going in, they yeah, only usually do one deceased only, person. To mean deceased people. That's right. But uh, we was talking about Sting, when Sting going in. Who would induct Sting? And, and you said, of course, Ric Flair. That's the big rumor going, that, that Ric Flair is going to be the one. And I hope, I, and, and he he's, at least needs to be there. Yes, he does. Um, but I would like for it to be Lex Luger. I believe one of the, one or uh, has to either be one, one would, would be fine. Yes, I don't I mean, want Hunter to do it. I don't want nobody in the WWE. I want somebody who he fought against in the in his prime. Right, he fought against him, teamed with him, blah blah blah. Because yes. he was part of the Horsemen. They were friends. They were enemies. I mean, everything for a very short time. He's part of the Horsemen. But I mean, yes, that, I'll be very upset if it's not Flair or Luger. Yes, it's got to be one of them too. And would they say that the person going in gets to choose? As long as, I guess, that he's on good terms with him, which Lex yes. Luger gets paid by WWE because yes. he's a wellness policy consultant, which is so ironic because he was all up in the roids back in the it day. It is. Ironic. But uh, it, it, I'm, I'm already stoked and ready for the oh, Hall yeah. of Fame. I mean, I don't even know anybody else. Just the name's rumored and who has already been announced. Exactly. I'm, I'm, I'm just and and I, Next, we've got more injuries. Yes. A whole list. The whole kit and caboodle of a bunch of people. It is insane. It is but insane. We've got Paige and Sasha Banks out with injuries right now. I've heard that uh, Paige's was concussion. Yes. But I'm not sure about Sasha's. I mean, they, they've they tweeted about it, and she says there's no injury, but you've been on TV, and so you got to think there's something there. It's very odd. But with them two out, and then you've got... Cesaro, you got Tyson Kidd, you got John Cena. You so got... ain't back yet. Getting close though. He's he was already rehabbing the next day after surgery, so you know he'll Heck be back. Gone. He'll be back by WrestleMania. He'll be the big surprise. <laughs> Randy Orton's out. Uh, Sin Cara's out. I mean, there is a whole list. I mean, Natalia was out for a little while. She's apparently coming back now. So right. I mean, it's just this 2015 and early part of 16 has been plagued with injuries. It is. Oh, Wade Barrett. That's another one. That's another one, yes. It's crazy. Seems like it is, but then he's not. But he is. He's not. What is it? It's very weird. Maybe he needs to retire Ooh. if you're being that injured. Yeah. I'm just saying. Kick you to the curb one here. Next, we have Alberto <sighs> Del Rio. The big news. That is big news. The big news coming out of Monday Night Raw. You said it was what anniversary? The 23rd, I think. Possibly 23rd. 23rd. So, uh, a big anniversary for Raw. And so I guess they decided it was in 93, right? Was it 93? I think it was 93. That'd be 23rd, yeah. There you go. So, ladies and gentlemen, it was a, it was a big moment, the biggest upset in the history yeah, of uh, Monday Night Raw. Ladies and gentlemen, 
Kalisto beat Alberto Del Rio for the U.S. Championship. But then, but then, the very next night, they filmed SmackDown. And because they knew everyone would give it away early, they did it themselves and said, Hey, we know you're not going to watch, so here it is. Ladies and gentlemen, Alberto Del Rio with help from Wade not, Barrett. Not very much help, though. Very little help. Jumping on the apron help. No touching. Like just, just enough to just enough, get the Just enough, yeah. And so, Alberto Del Rio won it back. <sighs> it's very, very interesting. I, I'm not really sure what the idea was. If it was just for the cheap pop and then, hey, give it back to the guy. That's um, stupid. It, it is stupid. Or maybe they're waiting to get another big pop at the Royal Rumble with the two of them facing each other because we don't have a lot of matches yet. For the Royal Rumble match, here. which I think is this next Sunday, correct? This next Sunday. So one yeah. week from today. One week from today that we're filming this, so that could be another match. They could say, "Okay, well, this will be the well, third. I've this will be the rubber seen match." That it's going to have a rematch on Raw. No. Don't make any sense. You're right. They need to have the rubber match at the Royal Rumble, one on one, no interference. And if I was doing it, which I'm not, but if I You're was not. doing it. The first time when Kalisto won the title would be at the Royal Rumble. Right, 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 right. The match on Raw where Kalisto won, which he shouldn't have won if they're going to take away that quickly. Right. Alberto lose. should have walked. Oh, look walk like away. Alberto's losing and Alberto walks. I like it. And Kalisto wins by count. Then they have a rematch on SmackDown and have the interference. And then, finally, at the Royal Rumble, have Kalisto get the big pop because people were excited. People were happy. People were doing this. Lucha, lucha, lucha. It's a good thing. you got a new Rey Mysterio. Use him. That's how you build people. You don't take the title away from him after one freaking day. That's true. And they, I mean, they even made a big deal. I don't know if you saw a video on YouTube, but they made a big deal about the ch uh, titles changing hands. And they showed Monday night backstage. The guy was being filmed uh, taking off uh, the uh, plate, yeah. the plate yeah. or whatever with the name Alberto Del Rio. Right. And uh, quite ironically, uh, there was already a plate ready to go, printed up. Chiseled out in gold. Really? With Kalisto. I missed that already. Yeah. Well, they ever, they probably got a box for every superstar just in case this happens. You know, Except for the social outcast guys. Anyway. Yeah. Well, yeah so they had Kalisto's a little nameplate thing ready to go. And then they placed it on there. And then later on in the video, they showed what happened on SmackDown. And then they showed again backstage the belt being replaced from Kalisto to Alberto Del Rio. Well, right now, so whoever gets paid to change the belt thingies, they had a, a big night. Yeah, Two that was a big night. But uh, I don't see it right now, what, what the outcome of this is. What they gain from giving know. the belt and taking it away. I don't, I don't see it. It's very odd. But uh, there, there, and when I talked about this on my trip this past weekend. Um, de WWE debuting, possibly, possibly Sister Abigail, and there's word they've talked about different people. We were talking about the rumor this weekend. They were talking about Santana Garrett, possibly. They were talking about even the real life sister of Bo Dallas and Bray Wyatt being Sister Abigail. And I thought, why not Crazy Mary Dobson? But I heard that. Uh, with her tryout that they um, they decided that they didn't want to use her. Um, something about, uh, they told her not to go to the top rope on her tryout. She went to the top rope. They were uh, impressed, but they said that means you just can't listen. So that's what I heard. Yeah. But um, her, their sister looks just like uh, a, a female version of Bo Dallas. The darker skin. <laughs> like Bray Wyatt doesn't have the darker no, skin. No, he doesn't. Bo Dallas has the Indian looking he has, skin he color. Is, yes, he does. The that's hair right. looks Indian and everything. But she looks Indian like him. I don't. I, but she has. She hasn't. She's had had a tryout before. She's a fitness model person. Yeah. So it, you know they could bring her in, just make her look creepy. She ain't gotta talk. She ain't gotta do anything. She ain't gotta touch nobody. I don't know. I don't know. I would keep the mystique. I wouldn't have her touching anybody. But that's just me. But there is a possibility that they're adding another layer to the Wyatt family. Hey, it works for me. And then they'll add her and fire Eric Rowan. <laughs> I mean, because if you look at the group, the weak link would be. Yeah, Eric if, you, if you're walking them down from worst to best, Eric starts at number one. So That is correct. So, every group has those, unfortunately, in the WWE yes, right now. they do. And probably get more groups. It sounds like if... Uh, this and that kind of combine to come together. So, yeah. 
We will have to see. <laughs> you haven't seen a red bullet club shirt, have February you? February should be a good month for that. It should be. Because I think AJ, I think AJ is Dave. They, they'd say, he, he put a big old thing out saying that he would not be in the Rumble, and then uh, he did a, uh, he got on the microphone at another li uh, live event that he was at, and he was telling them, he said, the future is unknown for where I'm going. And then everybody in the ring, or in the in the uh, fans, started chanting Royal Rumble. And he said, well, I hear there is a number, uh, an extra spot left open. There is, because Mark Henry's out. Oh, so they took another spot. Took well, Mark see, Henry there's out. only 29 people announced. There's only 29, spot. okay. So now that means there, if Mark Henry was announced and took him out, there's 28. Why is he out? Is he injured again? He don't do anything. I don't know. They kept they, were, they had an article like uh, a couple days before they mentioned he was out, and this could be his last Royal Rumble. Oh, my God. Yes, it is, buddy boy, because you ain't going to be in it. That's ridiculous. But And look at the list. There's so many that I would take out. Oh, uh, yeah? Sorry. I'm sorry. If it's for the W title, uh, not everybody who... I could see them. Okay, they got all four social outcasts. I would use one of them. I would use Heath Slater, and that's it. Yeah. The other three do not need to be in it. I don't put them at all. None of them in there. This is very true. They could this be should be only show. main event caliber talent mm -hmm. should be here for the world title. Exactly. It's for the World Heavyweight Championship. Not that I'm a contendership. It's for the World Heavyweight Championship. But I believe yeah, that I if there's... NXT people in there for two also. But if they've already got 29 names, maybe now 28 because they're taking Mark Henry out, whatever the case may be. And he'll end up back in it and then somebody else who was on the list will be out. And you know, you never know. Either way. With 29 people that... Uh, I believe that the last spot is reserved. Mark it down. Put it down in your notepads that it is reserved for Triple H. Yeah. The winner of the 2016 World Rumble. Now we're doing predictions already. Okay, we're on predictions already. We are. Okay, I didn't know we did we, look, we jumped right into it. We are getting better and better and better at this. I also think if Triple H, he's going to win it. Well, it would make sense. I mean, put the put but, your guy over. Put Roman Reigns over. What I read, the what I read, I don't like. What don't you like about Roman getting a number wherever? There's no certain place for him, and then they're facing saying he made this money on Raw. He may run the gauntlet to where he, if he wins the gauntlet, he gets number thirty. If he loses, he gets the first one. Right. You're the freaking boss. Give him number one. That's true. Hello, you're you're the boss. You're evil McMahon. You're evil Stephanie. Don't have Hunter no on TV. Hunter's not going to be on TV. He needs to show up the Rumble. That's right. But you're the boss. You go here. The since you're going to be one, since you're going to be one versus all. And speaking of one, you're going to be number one in the Royal Rumble. That makes Roman look better when he goes through so many people. If he's at the end, you know. You're right. Very true. Very true. Don't, but uh, yeah, but the, if he. But, I mean, they've got to have something big for this Royal Rumble with the title being on the line. Well, they're saying that whatever the outcome of the Rumble is going to be have big implications on Fastlane. Because they want Fastlane, I read, they want Fastlane to be a big event from now on. Not just another stop of the road to WrestleMania. You need to make it something better than what it is. Because we got Brock in the Royal Rumble. We've got Roman in the Royal Rumble. you got Jericho in the Royal Rumble. Jericho, which you know he's not going to win. No. So, I mean, you got... You got no John Cena. But you only got a couple of big names, and the rest of them is like, Bleh. Big Show, he'll do his little normal stuff, then, uh, then eight guys will knock him out. Of course. And Sheamus now, I guess. Sheamus will be last. But they love having Roman Reigns eliminate the most people like they used to have with Kane, so they need to have him in the very first spot so he can eliminate the most people. I'd even put Undertaker in there and have Undertaker get thrown out by somebody, and uh, there you use your know. WrestleMania match. But right now, look at the list. I mean, I wish I had the list. I don't have the list. We'll have the list next week. The list! And we'll look over it, and we will pick who we think, who the last four will be. There you go. So I like it. But uh, Also, the, last man standing match. Yes. Not, oh, yeah, that's going to turn out. But is it for the title? I think it is for the title. They didn't yeah. have it on there, but yeah. I think it is for the title. It needs to be for the title. Dean Ambrose and Kevin Owens. Did you see? Did you see? Owens is another one. Yeah, you know Dean Owens and Kevin's gonna be in it. See, and I don't really like that. If I think if you're in a regular match, you do not need to be in the Dead Gum Rumble. That would open up more spots. Yeah, but now you better get bring some people in, because I'd rather have them to wrestle twice than have some uh, Ed, Hammond Edwards in there who you know ain't got a snowbook chance and you know where. That is <laughs> true, but um, but yes, and uh, we're hoping. That we get another Charlotte Becky Lynch for the championship for they the should. Divas title. I mean that that storyline is perfect. I mean it, I love it. It's working out pretty great. Because um, when Becky, I don't know if you saw Becky after she was attacked and everything, her emotions. Her emotions. 
Oh, I mean, it, it felt real. There you go. She made it feel real. I like it. Me too. I like it, and I like her. Oh, yeah. She's awesome. Um, but, yes, yeah, so that, right now that's the only two matches for the Royal Rumble. Yes, it's not a good build. If they don't start building, then they start building. They're just making it about the championship match, which I can understand that, but at the same time, you need some undercard. Like, I would take out, like you were talking about, the Social Outcasts, and I would put them in the um, pre-show match, four versus four. Take your lower card and put them in the four versus four, or even in the dark match, have all have it uh, the social outcast versus four other people, but make it battle royal style, and the last one remaining in the battle royal gets a spot in the Royal Rumble. Yeah, something. There you go. It makes it look like hey, guess what? They earned something because I would honestly, out of the four of them, put Curtis Axel in there because he never was eliminated last year. He's still in there, and the chains are off. He's still in there, yes. That's his new thing. They need to have a shirt with chains just like drooping. It'd be hilarious. No, 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 no. Hashtag social outcast right now. Hashtag. Yeah, they got two new shirts, I think. Yeah. Too. That's pretty cool. But, I mean, they're, they're trending worldwide, ladies and gentlemen. But speaking of What's trending worldwide. Okay. Hold on. Go ahead. Next week. Okay, good. We're on the same way with the road roll is next Sunday, but Saturday, road trip, baby. Road, road trip. trip. Road trip, ladies and gentlemen. We are headed to the Atlanta area. Yes, Duluth, Georgia. The GA. Yes, going to the former Gwinnett Center for the first time ever. Checking it off. Here we go. Check it off of the bucket list, ladies and gentlemen. We have both been to WrestleMania. To the show of shows. To the granddaddy of them all. Now we get to go to a live Ring of Honor event. Only thing we got left to do is an NXT event. Yeah. We've got to travel for those because they ain't coming out of them. No, they're not. But ladies and gentlemen, it's going to be quite an event. We have the card, which is subject to change. And they even said that there will be a meet and greet before the event with only a few of the wrestlers. But hey, that's better than zero. That's WWE right. doesn't do it that way. So I like that. And there'll be, a, you know, a few additional charges. But, I mean, that's understandable. Maybe that, uh, you know, they're going to charge you for taking pictures and, and, and getting autographs and things of that nature. But uh, it is the Winter Warriors Tour, Saturday, January the 23rd, Ring of Honor, with the opening matchup. No, no, if you, opening. Well, if you go in order, we're going to go in order here. Yeah. Of uh, Rhett Titus and Kenny King, the All Night Express. Taking on a very odd tag team that will probably end up winning. <laughs> they will knowing be. the booking here. Taking on Moose, 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 and Cheeseburger. Cheeseburger. I kind of want to put cheeseburger. So, uh, well, ain't a moose burger. Yeah, no moose burger. No just moose burger. Um, then we have. I don't know what you could call that team. Cheese Moose. Moose Burger. Moose Burger, yeah. There you go. Team Moose Burger. Team Moose Burger. Hey, what, moose are you burger. calling now they're going to win? Are you going to call moose them going to win? <laughs> you can chant that. Moose Burger. Moose Burger. We may get that, we may get that chant going. We in, might. In the West, does it? We might. We, we will talk to some folks around us. We will get yes. some chants going, and we're also going to take the streamers. you got to have plenty of streamers. Dollar Tree will be our friend. <laughs> yeah, we're taking streamers. Yeah. And hope they'll make it up to the train. Well, yeah. Well, it depends on where we're sitting at, because I'm not a very good throw. Ooh, right in the front row. It's <laughs> in the back of the head because it was true. Well, y'all can have that one. Throw it. Throw it. We, we, you know, we want you to have that. Just remember, if we hit anybody up there in the first few rows, we look behind us, wait for Right? It. Like, who in the world? <laughs> Why you do that? But, ladies and gentlemen, a, um, right, this guy, match, yeah. this guy, this next guy is all over the South. He is doing big things in North Carolina. With the experience, in pro wrestling experience, along with John Schuyler and Adam Page, and a, uh, I believe that's one of the other ones, and a few other guys, and they're being managed by Steve Carino. Wow. Looks like a new horseman, if you will. They had a picture of all of them with um, Steve Carino in the middle, and then they had another picture of the horseman where J.J. was in the middle. I was like, I like it. But this man is named Corey Hollis. He has been seen numerous times now on NXT television. Mm. So very interesting. They have been looking at him, and uh, he is also from Alabama. Wow. It's very interesting. 
Um, and he's taking on Dalton Castle and the boys. Well, with the boys, you know. Yes. Well, I believe Dalton Castle is winning. With the boys uh, will win. And we're, not, we're doing predictions. I know he's going to do predictions. We're doing predictions. Because, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this I have one, the this money. Will be hard. If I have the money, we, we may be buying a, uh, to put right up here a peacock shirt. I'm just saying. I like the old yes. Dalton Castle. Yes. Next match is a six man mayhem match. Huge. You got Adam Page. Baby. Is that right? No, that's Adam Cole. Baby, okay. Adam Page. Which one's Adam Page? Adam, Adam Page is the guy is... in the decade with BJ Whitmer. Thank you. Okay. Which I think they're split did. up now. They, they've been having a brawl. They, they haven't. Once they switch networks. Yeah, we haven't been watching switched. it because they switch networks. But I saw a picture of one of the referees that is on Facebook, on my Facebook. He, uh, he works for them, and he showed a picture of all of them, like all the referees trying to break them apart. Mm -hmm. And it said, the war between Adam Page and B.J. Whitmer is getting crazier and crazier. Oh, okay. So I guess they're uh, uh, ripping apart the uh, decade. I don't know. Uh, Adam Page taking on one half of, uh, I'm trying to remember their tag team name. The Addiction? No, that was in TNA right now. What's The Addiction? Is it The Addiction now? Yeah. I can't remember what it was then. I guess, I guess I was thinking the addiction was the name for TNA. It's addiction. We'll take up the addiction. Frankie Kazarian. That that's right. That's that one we're missing. Huh. I didn't pay attention yes, to that. Yes, you don't have Christopher Daniels. Sure don't have Christopher Daniels. Nope. Yeah. Maybe he's uh, booked somewhere else. Like I asked you know him. You he was supposed to be part of the brood? Yes, I read about that. I was like, that's so weird, but it makes sense. Swerve off. Okay. Swerve. Yes, I would have liked it. But it makes sense because he, you know, he's the fallen angel. You know? Yes. But, um... Another thing is I contacted uh, Donovan Dijak, who used to be with uh, the Truth uh, Truth Martini. He's not with him anymore? No, he got they booted him out. Oh, wow. I hate when they took it off. Which, I mean, hey, they, I might so have just gave away a spoiler. Sorry, guys. Because I don't know if it aired yet, because I mean, I watch it. But anyway. Spoiler alert. Right? We're not going to mention anything about TNA and the world title. That's true, because they screwed that up. Filming 12 weeks ahead, or 12 yes. months, anyway. But no, Donovan Dijak said he will be touring Europe, so he will not be there. Oh, okay. Taking well, on Will Forara. I've never seen him a few times. Yes, yeah, he's a little, 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 little guy. But Silas I, Young, the real, the last real the man. The last real man. Not a real man's man, but he's the last real man. Caprice Coleman, and, who is a lot older than you would think. And Jay Briscoe. Ooh, Jay out of those Briscoe. Six. Out of those, they have a former world champion. The two I'm looking at will be Jay... Or Kazarian. Exactly. I'm thinking more of Jay because, I mean, they still want to push him. He's a former world champion, so they've still been giving him a push. But at the same time, this is not a television taping. So they could go and swerve you, and they don't have to go along with no. who they usually push. Adam Page could win. Adam Page could win. Or is B.J. Whitmer going to be there to attack Adam Page if, they're, if, they're, if that's it's what still, they're currently doing? Going, yeah. If that's what they're currently doing. Um, next, speaking of Jay Briscoe, uh, is Mark Briscoe taking on Cedric Alexander with Veda Scott. One of my favorite. Veda Scott. You get to see Veda unless she's there. That's what happens. <laughs> I do get to see Veda Scott. And I'm thinking with this one that Cedric Alexander's going to win. A lot of times Thanks when it's... Veda Scott. Scott. Well, a lot of times when they got these young guys coming yeah. up, yeah. A, lot of the, a lot of times they put Mark Briscoe in there to put him over. Of course. Because they did the same thing with TV, it doesn't make it, it doesn't hurt one way or another. You know, Next is, uh, you said a little premature, but it's Adam, Adam Cole, Cole baby. baby. Yes. Taking on Stevie Richards, former ECW. Stevie Richards, I don't know. He's Stevie Richards. I think Stevie Richards come into the job, so Adam, Adam Cole, Adam Cole baby. baby gets the win. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So, yes, I, I, I mean, that would be a good match, though. That's going to yeah. be a good match. And, and Steve Richards, I mean, he's now full-time with DDP Yoga, uh, being a trainer now. So he's in the area. So I'm glad they were able to get him. Yeah. Um, and that, I think this would be a really good match. And they both do super kicks. So that works, you know? So uh, maybe we'll have a super kick party. <laughs> um, they will get a few super kicks. We will. Because continuing on, we have the Ring of Honor World Tag Team Championships. Now, like I said, it is not a television taping, so we can kind of assume, just like a WWE live event, uh, how they're going to go with that. But they do film these to be put on DVD. Yes, there'll See, be no title change. Probably won't be a title change, no. Um, unless they don't do the whole, anybody having a title change. Unless so they do the whole swerve swerve, but I don't think this is going to happen. We have War Machine, the tag team champions at this very time, taking on Carl Anderson and Doc Gallows with. The Bullet Babe, Amber Gallows, all of the Bullet Club. Or is it going to be the Battle Club? Mm. Where are they going, ladies and gentlemen? 
are they going to be in WWE? Or is this the last time we're going to see them with Ring of Honor? I think it's the last time we're seeing Ring of Honor. Dun, dun, dun. Very interesting stuff, ladies and gentlemen. Probably War Machine keeps, I mean, keeps the title, also picks up the win. They win the match. Uh, of well. course, of course, yes. Um, which is very interesting because I think these are, uh, they'll both be perceived as face tag teams. Is War Machine or face? Yeah. Bullet Club always gets cheered wherever they go. Yeah. So that's going to be interesting. The same thing in this next one is going to be interesting with the Ring of Honor World Television Championship with Roderick Strong, your television champion, who's always perceived as a face, big time cheer, taking on Nick Jackson, one half, one half of the Young Bucks, of the Young Bucks, who are also of uh, the Bullet Club, and uh, that's why we're going to have some more Super Kick Party, yeah, right there because of Nick Jackson. But that will be interesting because they will both be cheered. Yeah. So that's going to be another interesting one. And then, last but not least, I mean, I, and I think with this, of course, and it would surprise me if they don't like, give us like one of these. You think that Nick Jackson won, but he didn't even. Oh yeah, well, at least one, one, one of these. Two, uh, no, he thinks he wins. He goes, no. Been Foot's on the rope or something, yeah, you know, <laughs> something where the referee doesn't see something and then they see it. I, yes. I, I like those type finishes. Oh, yeah. Um, finally, the Ring of Honor World Championship with Jay Lethal, the World Champion, with Truth Martine, with him in the corner. Taking on the other half of the Young Bucks, Matt Jackson. So, obviously, I, I mean, there again, no yeah. title changes. No title changes at all. No, it wasn't. But great title matches. It is. They're going to be good matches, regardless. And, and I lots think of streamers. Either they already did the match already, the matches, or they're going to, or it'll be the night before. I can't remember what okay. I saw it. All right. We have uh, uh, War Machine, Roger mm -hmm. Strong, and Jay Lethal taking on the Bullet Club. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That was a main event match. Ooh, 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 ooh. And I think it is either going to be the night before. Or that was already done already, so I can't remember how I saw it. That that right there, you could have the Bullet Club win that because it wouldn't hurt the champions. No, you don't know. Definitely. And not. then you had the champions win the singles matches. Mm -hmm. I like it, Ring of Honor. You're thinking. Thank you, Delirious. <laughs> you're doing a good job, sir. But th that is going to be the card for us as we go. And you never know; they may hit, throw in a couple of job yeah, you've never heard of. You know. But and we'll be cool, back man. here next week for part one, and we'll give our we'll give the rundown. We will give the rundown of the results of what happened at Ring of Honor Winter Warriors Tour. Well, that would be the big Royal Rumble weekend too. It will be. So we've got a lot to talk about in part one for sure. So you do not want to miss that. No. And coming up in part two, we continue with the pay per view review of Royal Rumble 07, 08, 09, 10, 11, and twelve. We're knocking it out there. We're knocking it out, knocking them down. Knocking out of the park. Because, ladies and gentlemen, next week will be the end of the pay-per-view review Royal Rumble. Yes. As we begin the road to WrestleMania. Yes. Woo. Exactly. Get 32 of those in. Woo. <laughs> There's a lot of matches on some of those. So that will be interesting how we have to break those down, but that's what he's here for. He's going to figure it out so that you can have the best bang for your buck Yes. on part two. So... Don't forget to join us in just a moment. Come on, man. Two. Click on over to part two. It's up right down this side. It could be down at the bottom somewhere. It could be over that way. It's true. You never know. Uh, your computer set up or nothing. I'm not. Or your phone. You never know how on these things work. Your phone just swipe, swipe, swipe. Everything's click. different now. So, may continue on. I don't know. You have the new thing now on YouTube where it continues on. So, the like next that. order is going to be coming on soon. We end this part. So. There you go. We'll see you shortly in a few clicks. I'm Mike Hogan. And I'm just a Kyle. Thank you for watching Top Rope Reality.